Welcome to our Baseball State Championship Weekend Show. We'll bring you all the highlights from all of our area teams, starting with Fort Loramie. The Redskins thrown off the first pitch on the 12 games this weekend. They've been state champions 2007-2010, making their sixth state appearance today. Fort Loramie fans showing up in style at Huntington Park. Start out with Loramie's Devin Wehrman ripping the line drive into left field. Then it's Shane Hilgefort. The ground ball, Trinity turns two though, and that ends the top of the inning. Later, it's Eli Rosengarten coming up with a deep ball to left field. That's a base hit. Then Rosengarten trying to get in scoring position. He is successful as he steals second. Then a warmy error. Let's Zach Mamina score for Trinity. They puts them up one to nothing. More from Trinity. They blast a hit in the left field, but look at Fort Lormy get it in. Darren Hoyne makes the play at the plate. A huge out keeps the game at one to nothing. Then it's Jared Middendorf getting the strikeout, starting to get in cruise control as the pitcher. In the fifth, Carter Mesher lays down the bunt. He is safe at first. Then Mesher takes off for second, and he steals successfully, so a runner in scoring position for the Redskins. C.J. Billing drives this one over the center fielder's head. That brings Mesher home. The Lormy Army ties it at one. RBI triple for Billing. Sixth inning now, and a wild pitch advances runners to second and third for Fort Lormy, looking for that go-ahead run. Then Shane Hilgefort hits a sack fly into right. That brings in the go-ahead run. Fort Lormy goes in front two to one. Middendorf with the whole game, gets the strikeout here in the seventh to end it and send the Redskins to the finals on Saturday morning. Well, uh, we knew that pitcher was, was tough, uh, and he was every bit as what we thought he was going to be. Throw is hard, he throws strikes, he attacks you, um, and we knew that we were going to have to have some good at-bats at the right time, and we did. Uh, but it all starts with Jared Mittendorf. Uh, I even told uh, someone from the press before the game, I said, if Jared Mittendorf's in the game in the sixth or seventh inning, that means we're in a position to win. And uh, he, 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 pitched, he pitched, pitched a whale of a game. I can't say enough about him. Uh, He's had some problems with getting, letting runners get on base, maybe falling behind batters. But after the first couple innings, he settled in and uh, he was he was lights out. He did a great job. Uh, it's pretty amazing to be here. Uh, but you know, we 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 battle. We're gritty. We fight. Uh, we 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 do little things. We get big hits when we need to. We've come back from big deficits. Uh, we've come back in tight games. We've had big leads that we let slip away. But every time we're just we're battling to the end and we get. We're just a team that just never quits. We got big hits when we needed to. We got a sack fly, manufactured a run, and that was the difference. CJ has had a heck of a year. Uh, I can't say enough about CJ. He's, you know, he, he's resilient. Uh, I'm sure he was disappointed, but I told him, hey, we've been here before. Just do what you do. Put a good swing on, it'll go. And sure enough, uh, he got a pitch he liked, and, and uh, it was great. It's more relying on your teammates and knowing early on in the game I was trying to pick the corners and then I realized the umpire had a tighter strike zone. So I tried to throw it over the middle more and let the teammates do the job and they did a fantastic job. I have no words to describe it. It's, it's great. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. 